What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can back up a computer's data to a NAS drive or network attached storage so what we're going to do here is use a free program uh, called backup and we're going to open this up and uh, I'll show you how to do it so first off let's open up uh, this PC here and you can see here on the network we do have a network attached storage so let me click on this and you can see it does give us access to here so if you want to back up data via a program you can do uh, to this uh, NAS drive so let me just show you how you can do that so first off what we're going to need to do is open up our program so I'm going to open up a uh, IOMI backupper and uh, it's, this is the free standard version now depending on whether you want to do a whole drive or you just want to do a, a folder or you want to clone a drive or whatever it is you want to do you can do that with this software so we're just going to go to the backup tab here so we've got some uh, options open here we have system backup disk backup partition backup file backup and file sync now we're not going to cover all these in this video but if you want to see more with this program then let me know in the comments section below and I'll try and do my best to make these videos for you so here we are we're going to go into file backup for this one just because it's going to be quick and easy for me to go through the process but you could do this with a, a partition backup and stuff like that as well so we can see here the task name is my file backup and uh, now what we need to do is look for a folder or a file to back up because we're just doing files and folders but if we wanted to do more we could do a partition and so on so I'm going to add a folder and what we're going to do next is go to the browse here and what we're going to do is go to the libraries area and I'm going to click on the documents click open and you can see it's put the path in there now for the documents click OK here and we now have a path ready set up for our documents so it's going to put our documents into that location so what we're going to do here is you can see it's only given us the drive option here so we're going to come over to the right hand side and use this little arrow on the side here and when we do that you can see it's given us a couple of options select a cloud drive or we can select a uh, network share or a NAS drive so we're going to do uh, NAS and uh, we're going to do this one here so you can see here we've got a couple of options I've already put in my details for this okay so you will need to put in your username and your password for your uh, network attached storage okay if you don't do that it's not going to be able to access it so you need to give it permission to access that by putting the password in now we can choose where we want to back this up so I'm going to go into the backup area here and I'm going to click OK so now you can see we do have the IP address of our uh, NAS drive and we've also got our uh, password and username in there which you can't see and also the folder which we're going to on that drive now we do have some other areas here which is a uh, backup options where you can go into you can enable encryption for the backups you can enable uh, an email notification you can go into the compression we're going to leave this as normal uh, but if you are tight on space you can also go to the high maximum data compression if you want to uh, it also got split in here as well but we're not going to cover any of this in this video so we're just going to come out of here and back out so now we've got this you can either set up a schedule here if you wanted to and basically you could have this to back up your documents to this location on a regular basis as long as you've got your username and password logged in there you should be able to back up and make a schedule for that you can see run once every day at a certain time run once only at a certain time you can see here weekly daily monthly event triggers and uh, real-time sync so as you work it will constantly back that stuff up to that location as you can see there so it's got plenty of scope in this program so you can see here please choose the way to perform the schedule backup and you can see here full backup incremental backup by default or differential backup as well so you can set this up exactly how you want okay if you don't want to do all that stuff then you can just hit the cancel button and you just want to do a one-time deal where you're going to send your data across then this is what we're going to do in this video 
So we're not going to touch on this stuff here. We're just going to leave this out. But if you want to see any of this stuff, let me know and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. If you want to see other software, let me know in the comment section below what uh, software you want to see. And I'll do my best to make those videos with that particular type of software. OK, now remember, we are on the free version of uh, Aomi uh, Backupper and uh, we're going to start the backup. And straight away here, you can see it will start to back up this uh, data on our uh, My Documents folder on this uh, machine to our NAS drive. So you can see here, check backup integrity on uh, completion. And I definitely want to do that because I want to make sure that uh, everything is OK and there's uh, no issues with the backup. Because if you don't do that and there is an issue, then obviously uh, you can run into problems. You can highlight the bubble here and it will tell you if you check this option, Another after completing the backup, the program will uh, check the data's integrity of the backup and so on. OK, so if you want to do that, you can do. Uh, but for quickness here, I'm just going to leave this off because that will add a bit more time on. And I want to keep this uh, to a bare minimum. So basically, that's what we're ready to do now. So we can shut down the computer on completion uh, if we want to by putting the ticks in here. Now it's not too late to add ticks in here if you want to, but I'm just going to let this go across now and uh, I'll come back uh, when this is being completed. So as you can see now, it's starting to back up this uh, data to our drive. It's done already got the information, scanned for authority files, and then uh, trying to create snapshots and then calculating the total number of backup files. And then it starts to back up your files to that location. You can see it's going through here at uh, 54 megabytes per second. And uh, this is obviously going to my NAS drive. And I'll quickly show you what that looks like. So I'm just gonna go into network here and you can see here. So I'm gonna click on this. And we are in this area, this is for the public. Uh, so I'm gonna go in here and we can go into my backup area. And you can see my file backup is the name that we named it. And there is the file there that's backing up. You see the data being uh, carried across here. It's growing in size. So we'll just let that finish off. So as you can see here, the uh, backup is now completed. And we just need to go and check it out. Now, if you want to uh, restore this, you can do. You can see my file backup. And it gives you the time here. If you want to go into advanced here, you've got loads of other bits and pieces here. You can check the image. Uh, you can locate your image, delete backup properties, edit backup, schedule task, explore the image. This is in case you want to explore it rather than uh, restore the whole thing. So if you want to restore it, you just restore and it will put it back. So uh, with the um, advanced area here, we can explore this image here. And then we can click on this and then go next. And you can see it's allowing us to explore this image here. So I can go right away down to where I want to be and look at all my data inside there. Now I'm not going to go into there because obviously it's got sensitive information in there and that's all my documents and stuff like that. But basically you can go in there and have a look. It's pretty easy and you can extract those uh, out if you want to one by one and take certain files out. So that's basically how you can go about uh, backing up your data to a NAS drive. I hope this has been helpful for you. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. Also, if you've got any uh, video requests, head over to the forum and post them up over there on the section uh, that's on there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.